Now what starts with the letter C? Cookie starts with C. Let's think of other things that starts with C. Hey, we're going to do a review real quick of um, genetics and just Mendelian genetics. And then we're going to learn a new pattern of genetics that, um, that some of you guys have actually started trying to do already. Um, so let's just take a quick look at what we know already. So um, in genetics, you have these different things called alleles. You have a dominant allele, and I'll just use A here. And the dominant allele can always cover up what we call the recessive allele. So the recessive allele might be the lowercase a. Okay? Um, your genotype that you have is what combination of two alleles you got. So you got one from mom, you got one from dad, and that gives you two. So what are your combinations? You might have two dominant, you might have a dominant and a recessive, or you might have two recessive alleles. This one right here is called homozygous dominant or purebred dominant. This one right here is called heterozygous or hybrid. And then this one right here would be homozygous recessive or purebred recessive, okay? So what we did the other day is we, we learned that if you take some parents and you cross them together, um, then you can get some different results. And one of the ones that we said is if you cross two heterozygous individuals, Big A, little A, big A, little A. In these boxes, this one and this one and this one, they all have a dominant allele. So they're going to look like whatever the dominant trait is. Let's say the dominant trait was purple. Okay. Then this one, this one, and this one would all be purple. But this box has two recessive alleles. And so that one would show up as whatever the recessive color was. We might say like white. Okay, um, we then looked at the same thing with mice. And so when you guys took a white mouse and you took a black mouse, I did that in the wrong order, and you bred them together, all of the babies came out to be black. But then we saw, when you look at the genotypes, all of these babies were big F, little F, big F, little F, big F, little F. Okay, so if we took two of the babies and we bred them together, what we ended up getting was some of the babies would be big F, big F, like that one right there. Some of them would be big F, little F, big F, little F, big F, big F, big F. But then every once in a while, you might also get this opportunity where the babies could be little F, little F, okay? Um, the statistics on those, if we're looking at them, is pretty much percentage-wise, 75% of them will be black and 25% of them would be white, okay? You can see from like this, it's not perfect because, you know, five out of the five babies here are all black. But there's always that chance that we could get one that was white because that's the recessive trait, okay? So the next thing I want you to do, and you're going to want to stop your video here in a second, I want you to go over to chicken genetics in the gizmos, okay? And I want you to try some of the same things we did. What would you have to do to get a purely white chicken offspring? Okay, I want you to pause the video and try that real quick. All right, hopefully if you've tried that, you figured out two white chickens will always give white chickens, blah, 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 okay? Now, what I want you to do is I want you to try and figure out what do you think will make purely red chickens? Probably not too difficult again, so try that one more time. All right, if you tried it, here you go, bring them together. Two red chickens together is always gonna give wet red chickens, okay? Now, this time, I want you, before you breed these two, the white and the red chicken, make a prediction. What do you think is going to happen here? Okay? So make a prediction. What do you think the babies are going to look like? If you go back to the mouse genetics, we know that a black mouse and a white mouse is going to make all black mice. Okay? What do you think will happen if you take a pure red chicken and a pure white chicken? and try it. All right, let's take a look. Whoa, those chickens are like two-toned, half red, half white. 
what's going on here? Because that's a little bit different than what we had seen with the mice, where the mice is, it's all or nothing. It's either all black or all white. The chickens display something a little bit different, and their different type of inheritance is what we call codominance. Okay, so now, when you guys see that prefix co, hopefully some of you guys can think of some words that have co in it, but co means together or with. So with co-dominant, that means there might be several different traits that are dominant together at the same time. Now, if they're dominant, that means they don't get mixed, okay? It's not like red plus white makes pink. That would be wrong. That's different. You guys will learn that in biology in a couple years. Codominant means both of them are fully expressed. So we see red and we see white, okay? So the next thing for us to take a look at that's different with codominance is these genotypes. Let's take a look at one of the chickens. There's a little bit of a different notation for the chickens here. When you look at them, okay, and I can't keep this on, unfortunately. If you look off to the right over here, you'll see that a white chicken has FW and F superscript W again. A red chicken has F superscript R, F superscript R. All right, so that's a little bit different. There's two different letters. Sometimes you'll just see it as big W and big R. Okay, I'm going to write it both ways for you here. So here was the white chicken. And then here's the red chicken. And then in this box, whoops, you would have F, R, F, W. And same thing here, same thing here, same thing here. Okay. Again, another way for me to write that, sometimes you'll see it both ways, would be R, R, W, W and they would all be RW. Now all these little baby chickens right here, these are the RWs, okay? So just like we did in the other experiment, what I want you guys to do is take two of those weird hybrid babies. These are still hybrids, okay? They're heterozygous. And what if we breed two of them together? I want you guys, before you actually breed these together, make a Punnett square make a prediction of what you would get, okay? So again, take a big FR, big FW, and then cross it with another one that's big FR, big FW, okay? Cross those together real quick in a Punnett square, and then predict what your genotypes and your phenotypes will be, okay? Pause the video while you're doing that. All right, so now, here's what you guys were supposed to do. RW, RW, you put those on your Punnett square. What question is it, or what color is this one gonna be? It's only got red alleles, so it's gonna be a red chicken, okay? What's gonna be in this box? Only white alleles, so it'll be a white chicken. And then these two boxes, these are the ones that are a little bit different. They have an R and a W, so what are they going to look like? Well, they're going to look like mommy and daddy. They're red and white at the same time. Okay, So it would be a 25% red, 25% white, 50% red and white together. So now let's take a look at statistics. Let's breed a bunch of them over and over. And look at the stats. The approximate percentage is, eh, it's pretty close, okay? If I keep breeding them, I'll probably get closer to that 50% red and white. Yeah, right about there. About 25% red, about 25% white, okay? There are lots of examples of codominance in nature, okay? Another one that is um, just an interesting example is there are some different blood types that you guys might know of, like A and B and O and all that positive and negative stuff. We're just going to look at A, B, and O. So to be A, you have to have at least one A allele. 
O is like a recessive allele. So this is a little bit different. So the way we note these is I A, and then let's pretend that it has a recessive allele. And then it would be a lowercase I. Okay, this is a weird notation. You won't have to know this or anything. Um, another one is B blood type, and then I. Okay, if we fill this out, this baby would have O blood type. This one would have AB blood type. This one would have A blood type. And then this one up here would have B blood type. Okay. One more example. There are different types of shapes of blood as well. There's the normal red blood cell that just kind of looks like a little donut. Okay. okay. And then there are some that are a little bit more elongated and they're what we call sickle shaped. So normal and then sickle. Okay. Now what happens with this, I hope you guys can see my head up here. Okay. If we take two hybrids for this, these people have all 100% normal blood cells, so these nice round ones, okay? People who have this have some normal and some of the sickled cells, okay? And then the ones here, these people have all sickle cells, and here's the difference between all these people. These people have a disease called sickle cell anemia, which is caused by all these sickle cells getting stuck in people's capillaries, the little arteries and veins inside of your body. And they get stuck and that causes problems. These people don't have any, okay? So they don't have any trouble. These people though, they have a mixture of the two and that actually is a good thing because this helps make you a little bit resistant to malaria. Malaria is a disease that affects people in a lot of tropical nations. Um, it's carried by mosquitoes, and this thing goes inside your blood cells and goes down to your liver, destroys your liver. It's really bad stuff. But people who have both of these alleles, they actually have an advantage over the normal person because they can get malaria. They have a huge advantage over this person with sickle cell anemia as well because this person is going to have sickle cell anemia. Okay? So these people actually have an advantage. Okay? So now what you guys have to do, um, there is a worksheet on cows and on chickens that have codominance in their traits. Remember, codominant is different from the normal patterns that we've seen in Mendelian genetics. I'm gonna go back to the mice. Remember with this one, it's straight up dominant or recessive. If you've got a big F allele, you're automatically going to be black in this case. But with codominance, remember, if you have one of each allele, you're gonna have both traits at the same time, not a mixing of the two. Remember, red plus white does not equal pink here. Red plus white equals red plus white, okay? All right, so you guys have that worksheet that you need to finish before the end of class, and then read the rest of your directions online. We'll see you later.